Hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial on simulation of electronic circuits and today we're going to be studying the transistor amplifier but before we start constructing the circuit there is one formula that we need to know and that is collector current IC is equal to HFE times base current IB now I have opened up the data sheet of a BC547 transistor and you can see HFE ranges from 110 to 800 now that we've seen these values, let's start constructing our circuit. To the devices, I have added a 1K resistor, a BC547 transistor, and a capacitor. So start off by adding the transistor and give it its power supply. I'm going to set this to 12 volts. Now I'm interested in finding out how much current is going to flow through the collector. So click on instruments and select DC ammeter. and add in that resistor flip this by 90 degrees and join everything and let's short the emitter to ground now we've already seen how the transistor behaves as a switch if this transistor is turned on then this point is as good as tight to ground so the maximum value of current that can flow through the collector is 12 volts divided by 1k that is 12 milliamps so let's set this to milliamps now we're going to send current through the base so let's add in our base resistance and change this to 1 mega ohm now I'm interested in finding out how much current is flowing to the base so I'm gonna add another ammeter so click on instruments and select DC ammeter again and change this to microamps I'm also interested in finding out the collector voltage so I'm going to add a voltmeter over here and let's run the circuit now you can see the collector current is 3.12 milliamps and the base current is 11.3 microamps so open calculator and divide collector current by base current so that's 3.12 divided by 11.3 micro so the value of HFE is 276 now let's say I want 6 milliamps to flow through the collector so the va so the value of the base current will be 6 milli divided by 276 and that is the value of the base current now in order to get this amount of current through the base I will need to change the value of the resistance and I can find the value of resistance by using Ohm's law now I know V is 12 volts and this is the current so R is equal to V by I so invert this and multiply it by 12 and the value of the resistance is 552k so let's change the value of the resistance to 552k and let's see if we get 6 milliamps flowing through the collector uh, we're getting only 5.23 now this means that the value of HFE that we chose is close to the actual value so I'm going to reduce the value of the base resistance I'm going to make it 452k and let's run the circuit and yes we have 6 milliamps flowing through the collector now let's say I remove this resistance over here now the moment I remove this resistance the value of current flowing to the base is zero which means that the collector current is also zero and there is absolutely no voltage drop happening across this resistor so this voltmeter right here should read 12 volts and that's exactly what it reads 
now let's say I given maximum current to the base and let's run the circuit and you'll see that the collector voltage is almost zero and this is happening because the moment I'm giving maximum current to the base the collector current has reached its maximum value but it cannot exceed 12 milliamps so the moment the collector current has reached its maximum value a maximum voltage drop has happened across this resistor so the collector voltage is almost zero so this tells you that by changing a small amount of current in microamperes you can vary a bigger value of current in milliamperes and the collector voltage can go down from zero to a maximum of 12 volts so this is the basic principle of the transistor amplifier now let's go ahead and add our DC I mean AC source so click on generator and select sign and by default it should be set to 1 volt and 1 hertz and let that be as it is now I'm going to add a capacitor and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this in a while so add the capacitor change its value to 1 microfarad it's set to 1 microfarad now I'm going to be adding an oscilloscope so click on instruments and select oscilloscope add that right here give the collector voltage to channel B and the input to channel D and feed this to the base and let's run the circuit firstly let's turn off channel A and C because we don't need them gotta adjust this a bit okay now we have two waves but there doesn't seem to be any sort of amplification happening on the output wave uh, well let's worry about that later right now let's study the characteristics of these waves now as the input wave is rising the output wave is decreasing and this is because as the input voltage is increasing the current through the base is also increasing which means the collect current through the collector is also increasing and so is the voltage drop across the resistor and that is what we just saw a while back now as the input voltage keeps dropping the current through the base is given by Kirchhoff's law that's DC current minus AC current so the current through the base keeps on reducing and so does the current through the collector therefore the voltage drop happening across the resistor also keeps reducing therefore you get something like an inverted wave so to sum it up as collector current increases collector voltage decreases now let's stop this and there is a formula for gain and it's given by R1 by R3 where R1 is this resistor right here and R3 is a resistor between the emitter and the ground so let's add that resistor and let's run this circuit I'm first let's change this to 500 ohms so R1 by R3 is 1000 divided by 502 so according to the formula our output wave should be twice as big as our input wave so let's run this well there doesn't seem to be any sort of amplification happening again and why do you think this is happening well simple explanation now our input sine wave is set to 1 Hertz and at this frequency this sine wave is all as good as DC and you know the property of a capacitor is it blocks DC so let's change this to 1 kilohertz 
and run the circuit you can see the output is now twice as big as the input and that's exactly what we wanted now let's say I want a gain of 100 so I'm gonna set this to 10 ohms now you'll see the output wave has clipped after a certain value now this is happening because we have set a gain for 100 but the output can only go up to 12 volts and the moment it reaches 12 volts it's going to saturate and you're going to get a clipped wave now the capacitor here this capacitor is called a coupling capacitor because it couples the AC wave here to the base now let's say the AC source here has a very low resistance if that's the case all the current from the base is gonna flow to the AC source and not to the base so by adding a capacitor here I'm gonna prevent any DC current from flowing through the AC source well that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions you can always mail me this is not exactly a short video it's very long but all the same thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be adding more videos in the future bye